Okay. I think I'm ready to talk now. I'm still actually processing all the information. So, but I'm really ready to, to talk about this. As I'm a terrified, I think I need a shot. I had this um, Casamiga tequila, so I need a shot before I start talking about this. Yeah, so. Cheers to all the BS I'm about to talk about. <laughs> My awful laugh. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Mm -mm, no more Casamigos for me. Welcome back to another video. Oh, as you can see, as a title suggests, I will be talking about who the fuck did I marry? Where do I start? Right? Where do I start? Like, where? <laughs> where do I start? Guys, I'm just talking off my head. No notes. No anything. I'm just going to go in sequence the way I remember it. Okay? So, okay, so, Miss Risa Tisa, <laughs> my British, what do you get to know? What do you get to know? What do you get to know? Guys, these are not engagement rings, okay? <laughs> I'm married ring, wait, I won't put this down. Did I get you guys, like, for me, like, let me know if, if my did get to know. Like, just let me know. I mean, when I laugh. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm here to talk about Miss Risa Tisa and who the fuck she married. <sighs> First of all, this is just me giving my review on the whole situation and the things that I would see as like red flags and why I would have shut why I would have shut it down before marriage all of that so let's start from the top all right people number one miss Risa Tisa said she met this guy on Facebook and for those who don't know the story Risa Tisa is a woman who recently shared her story on TikTok in 50 parts and yes guys I sat down when I was working I was listening because it's not something you watch it's more so something that you listen um so I listened it over a two day period because I started and then at the time when I learned of it it was like in the night and it was late so I went to bed so the next day I finished it and let me tell you it has the internet in shambles I think maybe me doing this video is probably like two weeks later so Anyways, I want to give my review. If you want to watch the video, you can continue to watch it. If not, it's okay if you can. It's okay if you want to. That's it. Okay. But I think I'm going to still watch it because it's me. It's good for I'm such a read. And, you know, I think what I'm going to say, it makes sense. And if you watch it and you want to talk, don't forget to just comment down below what you guys think about it too. All right, we could just talk in the comment section and you can tell me what would be the first red flag for you. So, so in the discussions below, I want to know what would be the first red flag for you and how would you have proceeded. So for me, she said she met him on Facebook, right? And for me, I have tried the online dating thing. I have, but I was on it for like a week and then I deleted the app and then like two months later, I said, all right, let me try this again. And then I realized that it's not something for me because I don't trust easily. I'm, I'm not going to put my, my trust in a stranger that I don't know. You know, it's it just weird to me. Like, I just believe that people just lie. Like, we're all adults. Like, talk the truth. You know, say what you want. And if somebody wants them, accept that. But, like, you know, people come two-faced because they want to get what they want out of you. And honestly, me, is for pick up on things. And I could be wrong, but when I miss, it's the first thing I do. Once we get a red flag, I'm out. You know? Um, so she said she met this guy on Facebook. So when she said that, I must start laugh. 
But as I have, as I noticed that thing, it pop up on my, I don't really use Facebook, but I go on it for a reason, I don't wish to share. So I go on it, and I saw it. And I was like, oh, what is this? So what's up, boom? Went on it, listen, trash. Anyways, that was the first red flag for me. Because I said, oh, Facebook, all right, trash. Then she said, she saw him on another dating app at the time when, when they met, and they were like talking. He remind he was the one who brought it up. So she didn't even remember. On that other app, he had another name and other pictures. Not a red flag. Why you not use it? Why you the pan? Well, okay, you want to be on several because you wanna, you know, have like a better outcome or something like that. I hate that my I turn the the feature on so that my phone follows me wherever I go, and honestly, it keeps zooming in and out. Anyways, so why do you need to not have your correct name on the apps? And why? I mean, okay. You take different pictures, so you want to use some pictures for that app and some pictures for that app, fine. But why do you have two different names? Like, use the right name. So those things are like red flag to me because I would not understand why you don't want to use your right name. You know? Um, Miss Risa Tisa, when he promised her, first of all, <laughs> the red flag, the, the next um, sign from God that she got was when her tire burst, right? But... Goody buy her attire, so she said, No man, which man buy a tire for her first date? But you know, it's like for me, I'm used to good things and good gestures, and I take good care of myself and I do things for myself. So, certain things I'm not gonna be like, Oh wow, oh no, like you cannot win me over. Like, I'm as I'm, I'm hard to win over. Like, I would let you know that you know, thank you, I appreciate it, but don't think that. I am like, damn, him this and him that. No, because I can't do that for myself. And also, I'm used to, to things being done for me in a nice way. So, yeah. So, that was maybe for her. I feel like she has never been loved correctly or properly before. And so, certain things was like a big, was like, oh, wow, for her. Because maybe someone buying you a tire on your first date. I mean, that's usually not ideal if I'm being honest too. But uh, yeah, so she, so that was something for her. So I'm even showing with that. Okay. What also I was so surprised when she said is this happened during quarantine. Because she said this was 2020. And you're moving a man in a your house where you don't know you move a man in your house for live with where you don't know what you want to say something about him buy house and not finalize it you're gonna stay in your studio we are going to video call and we're going to talk on the phone and if if it is a case where we can meet together during the quarantine and do something under the radar we can do that i'm not moving it in my house i don't know you like that sir I don't know you like that to move it in my house. It could be a thief. She could have sleep and wake up and everything in the house on. Why do that, girl? Like, why? That was a red flag. And up to now, the house came by. I was. He. Him literally just cuss off in her face. He played in that woman's face and listening to the entire story, like listening as I go through it, I'm like, at what point is she going to realize that there is not going to be a house? At what point is she going to realize? And it's like, I don't know. Them say it could have happened to anybody, but that could have happened to me. Me not ask her, tell me, I tell you. Could have happened to me. Couldn't. Eh. <laughs> Due to all me paranoid, one look or something, I may pray. It, not, it could have done me nothing. I'm, me I pray already. Me I pray. Yeah, so let me say it could happen to anybody. It, that could happen to me. That see that exact scenario there, whatever could happen to me. Couldn't. Could unless I'm not in my right mind anymore. Like it must be that I'm not in my right mind. And I'm not judging her right anything. I'm just looking at the situation to say how I wanna address it, you know? Like my empathy or sympathy goes out to her. You know, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I think she was just not loved properly and, uh, you know, someone doing something for her of that 
sorts she sort is a big thing and when the man moved in he was paying all her bills so i feel like she also became a bit you know complacent because she's like all right i'm gonna pay the bills i'm this i'm that so i have to do this so i feel like he used that for her but what me i say is he must have make some money because how was he able to pay for all the bills in my work at the condiment company hey the month of google my google when me I, the of google my google so he was working at a condiment company and he was paying for paying all those bills. So I feel like she was like, oh, the money really The man, lime, 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 lime. The man printed out a letter, a fake letter, said Chase Bank authorized 700 and something thousand dollars for him to get a mortgage. Not of us about this. Like, in print and sure and it look real. So like, sister, and I say yeah man him show me so she's like first of all you see when when you're if you're ever with someone this has never happened to me before but it's just like it us know if you're with someone and you are like second guessing a lot of things and you feel like you are going crazy run 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 because honestly that is your instinct telling you and some of us we don't listen to our instinct that is your instinct telling you that something is definitely not right and you need to get away from that situation if you have to be sick and guessing a lot of things to the point where she start recording herself she start recording herself she start talk to herself and record herself that is crazy that is a man who is a narcissist. You need to run. I don't use certain terms loosely. But if you are, like I said, if you are with someone, you have to second guess everything. And you have to say, you're wondering, you're wondering if you're going crazy. And run. Yeah. That's that. I, I just had to say that part. Okay. So, <laughs> add to the next part that has, it just, I'm baffled. I, I really don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. Like, this man was literally on the phone every morning at 6 a.m. Like she said, every morning pretending to talk to someone when he is talking to himself. Relaying greetings, Teresa. We can't believe. But what we are saying, sometimes like when you're on the phone, like if someone is standing right here and, and I'm talking on the phone, Sometimes they can hear the other person on the other end, but I'm like, okay, maybe his volume wasn't turned up. But not once did she realize that the phone was not lighting up or I don't know. Like that just after me, she never once did for say, let me, because all right, this is my thing. She was uncertain about a lot of things, right? And every morning, this man is on the phone at the same time pretending to talk to his brother, right? And I'm like, now all he did was like relay greetings. He never once said, here, talk to my brother on the phone because remember, you know, this is where, I mean, and I know I skip a lot of her. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to address everything that she said in the video. Just some things that stood out to me because even the pregnancy part, not going to address that. I don't think there's much there. She got pregnant. But... Uh, this part like him never once yes it was quarantine but give me the phone let me talk to the person that has never once happened i would be so suspicious about that and i'm like you never once since she had her uncertainty about a lot of other things the phone call thing never come as a it never seemed way to her because i would take my phone and stand up or ring it ring his phone right next to him right in front of him because you're on the phone every morning 6 a.m talking to somebody who is up 6 a.m every morning talking to you it's not work related that would be so weird to me like me and my sister close but on the phone every morning 6 a.m talking to my sister who does that and i'm sure your brother have ever like that would have been so sus to me but anyways, Miss Risa Tisa never investigate, she never suspect anything. And the man literally just at Guala came and talk to people him not talk to. That it's kid suffering behavior. Like him is a him seems psycho. <laughs> Yo, I cannot believe this. Like I am completely just lost for words. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing that stood out to me. Oh my god, we need some water. Wait there. <laughs> 
I actually think the Casamigas is a bit, it's very strong. But, um, okay, so on to the next part, right? We are, first of all, the social security numbers. Because they, had, why would you get married to this man knowing all that you are questioning, right? Yes, we to live together, but here we're going to put you out. I have to put him out, I have to put him out because if we are married and take a work together, I can work on it while they come already feel uncomfortable with a lot of things and I'm questioning a lot of things. Why would marriage be the solution, girl? Why are you going to marry the man you have all them uncertainty there? And then she get the new job, the social security number where she run, the background, the number where come up different from the one for the marriage certificate. And this is just crazy, like... I legit look like I have no brows. <laughs> this is just oh my god! I'm listening to it and I'm like, I just want to hug her. Like, I just want to hug her because I just feel so sorry. Like, she was that blinded to all the games that this one was playing and the lies. Like, she knew and she never followed her. Followed. She didn't follow her. In, follow her instinct. And <sighs> I just feel so bad for her. Then she called and she said, "All right." Los Angeles, uh, California. I'm saying home from California, and she called the university, and she didn't find that the university said there's no record of this man, right? So she confronted him, and this man is going to say, <laughs> "It is a private citizen." Honestly, my run go Google, my learn what he party. <laughs> my learn what about things. So I learned what a private citizen is, but who does that? Who are you? Your family is not of any royalty, of not any anything in high place. You're not from any any family in high places. Why would you be a private citizen? Why would you be a <laughs> I would think that a family who wants their child to be a private citizen would be someone who is rich like a celebrity or something like that and honestly i don't even know if there's such a thing but you also him also said me play arena football i don't even know what the hell that is and otherwise if you are on a football team and you're a private citizen where you can't publish the name or anything of the organization that you're associated with that would be against nc nc a, a NCAA um, rules and regulation because them have a post a picture, them have a post a name, them have a post a team where you play upon. So, Risa Tisa, <sighs> man, I know, man, I know, man, I know that man here in life for no reason. Him lie, him drive the woman go cemetery and say, I write to them, go to them, bury. Why him do, why do that? No reason. Him not do it for no reason. The definition of a pathological liar, like literally in my life for no reason. No reason at all. Mm? Okay, so let's fast forward now to the divorce. I'm so happy that she filed for a divorce from him. Honestly, I'm so happy. I wish she just never married him in the first place. But I'm just so happy to say she filed for the divorce. And then after filing for the divorce, it's like she had found out other things. She kicked him out. She found out that he is a twin. Him don't have four brothers. He, he, he has two brothers. And one of those brothers is a twin. He has no sisters. So he also learned about having sisters. So the person who is his sister is his niece. Don't know who Egypt is. <laughs> The man buy a gift, I give Risa Tisa for send to her address. So Risa Tisa girl, you know me about the address, for track down the address, me would, me would have got the address. Me that I forgot the address because I want to know what Egypt is because I'm sure no so you would give me a for send off. Me remember the address when everything I come to me, I have to take a trip. I have to take a trip and got the address because I want to know when I'm each. <laughs> So yeah, it's like she has been found, she found out like so 
much it she found out so many information about the man that was alive and honestly i'm just so happy that she filed for the divorce like i said i'm not gonna touch on anything it's just some things that stood on everything it's just some things that stood out to me um i hate the fact that he dangled the eye and everything in her face about going to london because that was her dream um place it's like the man get off and dangling things in her face and knowing that, knowing that she's not going to get these things and i just like my heart goes out to her and ladies like if you ever come across a man who make it who who makes you question things or feel like you're going crazy or think feel like it you know like you have to just run away excuse me run away from that man because that's your instinct telling you that something is up and i'm glad that she got the divorce i'm glad she get away from him i'm glad that she had that miscarriage because who knows the kind of man she would, have, she would be dealing with that man right now because he's the father and who wants to not have the father in their child's life because at the end of the day it's a child that would be suffering so you want to make sure that the child knows the parent so imagine still having ties to this man who did something of this nature to you something of this caliber like so i hope that she's healing or i i hope that she is healed and honestly healing is not like a one-time thing because they can think you're healed now from a situation and then five years later one thing reminds you of it like one thing and it could be something that reminds you of it a couple years ago but it never affect you but no it's like it come long and you still feel like you're here you know but that is dependent on the hurt the magnitude of the hurt and the trauma that you went through with that situation so honestly my heart goes out to her i hope this was a lesson to her and i i don't really follow up the whatever from tiktok but i noticed that hilton hotel reached out to her delta reach out to her um i think it was the bmw that she want bmw reach out to her for she get her car if i'm not mistaken so yeah like things are happening for her she's living out her dream like the same stuff that brought her trauma you know is coming how do i say am i saying that right like the same stuff that really hurt her like not getting it it's actually coming coming to life now so like i really hope that she gets to go on her dream vacation which is london um i don't know how she feel about love i personally i will never give up on love i have not given up on love even though i've been hurt in the past i hope well <laughs> hurt is nothing like this you know nothing like this i've never come across anything like this so i hope that this doesn't make her give up on love and i hope that she will just find it um to love I, I don't know i hope she will give herself grace and get back to a place where she will love herself and trust herself because not that trust is broken or she build up a barrier from with people from like outside but like it's also a trust that you know you break with yourself when you go through things like that because you're like damn i didn't trust myself to believe myself i had those thoughts i had those um everything was in my head and i just didn't follow through to it so it's also a trust that is spoken with herself so i hope that she's getting to a place where she can feel like she trusts herself again trust her instinct because that is going to take a lot of self work self work as well so it's not just like oh i'm never gonna date again outside like it it's also like a lot of things inside because you know she did say in the video even if it make me look stupid i'm just gonna tell the truth at the time i don't know what i was thinking so yeah but yeah ah, that's my two cents on who the fuck did i marry <laughs> Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts. I just wanted to chip in and just give my two cents because it's a hot topic and everybody, you know, on it now. So I hope it's not late. I'm uploading. I'm going to edit this video right now and upload it right now so y'all can get it. Okay. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It's always a pleasure doing reviews on movies and things like this. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to give my two cents on. Uh, yeah. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and... I'll see you guys in my next video.